What's going on guys, Dr. Dave here, coming at you guys with another video. On uh, today's video is going to be mainly geared around the state of the meta and kind of solutions that I feel would really help fix the game because it arguably is in the worst state that it's been in in a very long time. But before we get into that, I do want to mention that for you guys that this month's V-Bucks giveaway is going on. The link will be down in the description down below. Uh, I'll be holding these giveaways every month, like I said before, so go ahead and uh, enter for your chance to win. And uh, in the background, you'll see my Twitch stream that uh, just the one of our victories that I picked up with one of the viewers that I was playing with. Um, don't forget, you guys can also just check me live on Twitch. I uh, stream pretty often, um, but if you want to get notified whenever I stream, just hit the notification bell or join my Discord to get notified. But let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So as you all know, um, on Saturday, there was an event that allowed players to vote back on one of the vaulted items. Um, of those items was the plane, the sword, the tactical sub, the grappler, the bounce pad, and the drum gun. And all, as we all know, the drum gun is what actually won the vote. Now, I, lo I love the idea of what Fortnite came up with, allow players to vote for something to come back into the game instead of just bringing something back. Um, it kind of creates, it's, that's what's so great about Fortnite is that it's create, created this community with players to allow us to be able to, to dictate the game to a point. So I love the idea, it's a great idea. The problem is that the drum gun came out in season four, I believe, uh, four or five, and players are voting it's season eight now about to be season nine players are very new to the game and there are a bunch of players who voted for the drum gun who never even got to play with it now i understand epic brought it back in the um in the special unvaulted game mode it was so broken that when it first came out it wasn't even in or when it first got vaulted it wasn't in any of the other unvaulted game modes it got straight deleted from the files but then they brought it back in the um special unvaulted mode which is only geared for unvaulted or only geared for vaulted weapons so all you could find the only shotguns in there were the heavy shotgun and the double barrel there were no pumps and no tacks um, so it did give people an opportunity to use the drum gun but people don't really understand how powerful it was during that game mode it's not really indicative of how it was when it first came out and how it is right now so we all understand that the gun is is very good um, but there are problems with it and I think that because Epic has allowed us to be able to vote for something like that, we should also have the opportunity to be able to vote on the state of the game. So as we all know, Siphon was removed and players on every Twitter post, on every every Twitter Fortnite post that they made were all shouting revert, revert, revert. Ninja hold, held a poll with 300,000 uh, votes and I think it was like 82% of people voted for uh, the patch to get reverted. Um, Face Swan also held the same uh, poll. I think his was 17,000, but it was still like a ridiculous number of people who all wanted the patch to be reverted. Fortnite released a statement in their blog post stating how people enjoyed playing the game and that everyone loved the siphon. But then they flipped to say that 90% of the community did not benefit from it. It only benefited 10% of the elite players, which is not true. Um, and if it is true, they could honestly post some facts to back that up because they showed us no data and all it, all it was was hearsay from their end. So my solution uh, to the problem would be for maybe two days to a week allow us to be able to vote for reverting the patch and it's very simple we don't have to do it through social media which was initially what my idea was allow players to vote through social media but ninja brought up a good point when uh referring to his post is that majority of the community is not on social media which is fine because they're console users so allow them to be able to log into the game and to be able to vote in that way but they're not doing that. You could simply allow us to be able to log into the game and on the news screen, give us an option. Hey, we hear your feedback. Here's our solution. Would you guys like us to revert the patch or would you not? But 
for some reason they don't really care to do that they want to make competitive and public matches two very different things when we shouldn't have to go into arena to sweat all the time for heals for kills to make the game more enjoyable and then you also have to deal with uh turtling box fighting um and all the things that come with uh, the arena and competitive mode like being in a scrim but not everyone wants to play like that people still want to have fun and benefit from the game without having to farm forever to be able to get mats so i think that we should be able to vote i have a second solution which i think is honestly probably maybe more even viable than the first one the second solution is that uh it's kind of like a multi-part solution where they increase the shield limit for all shields across the board except the chug gun that can stay at one but minis go back to 10 and uh big pots maybe go to five so whereas when we're killing someone or we're fighting a team we should have the opportunity to at least shield up a little bit if you're not gonna give us a heal for the kill right so the giving us the opportunity to hold more shields to be able to survive fights better and to be able to survive third party even better would be an excellent solution um another part to this would be bandages take four seconds to use which is fine because they only feel they only heal up 15 but from going from 30 to 75 takes three bandages and that's 12 seconds right there so allowing bandages to go to max hp would be significantly better uh, there is this comparison between Apex and Fortnite that's always being made. Well, that was being made in the past. Um, in Apex Legends, bandages can take you to 100% health. And for, for four second cast time from 30 HP, it would take five bandages, which would be a total cast time of 20 seconds. Now, a medkit takes 10 seconds. So to gain that same amount of HP, a medkit would still be more beneficial. But to have the opportunity to even use bandages to get to max health, should be a an excellent solution for them allow bandages to take us to 100 hp even though yes we have campfires but we don't always have a campfire and your team is not always near you and campfires give away your position so it it shouldn't be so binary to the fact that if you have bandages you can get to 75 but then we also can't even carry that much shield so you can carry six minis and you can carry 10 or 15 bandages but those bandages can only get you up there and they take four seconds for 15 whereas a mini takes two seconds for 25 so i don't know i don't know what your guys' thoughts are leave a comment down below i think that honestly these changes could really make the game in a better game state allowing us to either vote on the revert or to allow bandages to allow us to go to 100 hp and to increase the shield limit in our inventory they initially decreased it in my opinion because they were planning on adding siphon to the game so i was okay with that i was i was um content with the fact that i can only hold six minis and three big pots based on the based on the ideology that i'm going to be receiving 50 health or shield from getting an elimination neither of those are are true anymore and they've removed that but they've kept it so where we still only have six minis three big pots and bandages cannot heal you all the way so i think honestly those would be excellent solutions for the game state allowing us to be able to do those and the farming rate could honestly go back up to 40 percent um even if you didn't nerf the cap limit in public matches the 40 percent farming rate was a big deal and it made the game a lot more enjoyable it made it up much faster um so i don't know let you let me know your guys' thoughts below this is just kind of a quick video on my thoughts on the game state and what we can do to fix it hopefully epic sees this so make sure you guys leave a like share the video if you guys find anyone that you think that would love to see it and i will see you guys next time